Hey guys, Kevin with On Point Pro Styles in Gainesville, Georgia. Um, this video is going to be about some new software that tintdepot.com and plotterdepot.com finally released. Um, it's a template cutting software for tint and PPF. Super cool. Uh, the user interface is really clean, easy to use, quick to learn, and it's called Film Cut. Um, so I'm going to go through a couple of things using the software. I actually have a 2019 F-150 in here that I need the two front doors cut and done. So I'm going to use the software to do that, but I wanted to kind of walk you through and introduce you to the software and point out some of its key benefits. And um, we'll, throw some, we'll throw some graphics in there that's screen sharing, as I know it's not easy to see from here. Um, I'm not able to do that, but we'll definitely throw some screenshots in there of the software being used so that you can better understand and see what it is I'm talking about. But for now, we're gonna go through um, using it and opening it up, and I'll talk a little bit about it. So let's get to it. Okay, so here we are. All this white space is a good thing. It's super clean, it's super organized, um, really easy to use. So you open it up and this is the first thing you see. You've got a couple of buttons here, uh, really clean. You've got an update button to check for updates. You've got a calibrate button. You can do eight inch, 12 inch, um, 20 inch cuts to check and make sure that the plotter set up properly. Um, plotter setup is really easy as well. You've got a nesting feature and you've got cut list here. Super cool. The nesting feature is the one that I'm most excited about because I do a lot of that in my shop when I'm using these types of software. So I'm going to use nesting, but I'm going to show you the other capabilities. This is kind of designed for high production um, that you might not use the nesting feature where um, my type of shop, one car to another car to another car, and they're all different. I'm going to utilize the nesting feature. So right off the rip, I got that 2019 Ford F-150 in here. So the first thing I'm going to do, I need tint 2019 Ford, and it has all the options, crew cab, extended cab, pick, uh, standard pickup. I've got a crew cab in here. It's going to load up everything. So we're going to talk about the template list here first. So what it's doing is it's telling you, here's a back glass that's one piece, back glass three piece with a slider, powered, back glass three piece uh, slider left side, powered, right side. So if you if you click that, it gives you a preview over here. So that's kind of nice. You can kind of gauge it. It's got the measurements length and width. Your plotter is going to cut this way. So this is going to be the feed out portion of your plotter. So you can check your width right here. That's 12.1 inches. So you could easily get by with a, you know, 18 inch, 20 inch roll to cut those pieces out. You've got your front roll up left side, front roll up right side. So from here, provided that you check your width, load up the size roll, click the scissors right here, and it spits that pattern out, boom, just like that. So that's one way to do it. Or you can build you kind of a, a, kind of a shopping list. This is called a cut list. So let's say I need the front, uh, let's see, how do I want to do this? Let's say, all right, so these are 35 inches wide. So I'm going to put a 40 inch roll into my plotter and I'm going to add these to the cut list. That's the front doors. They're already arranged in the fashion where they're turned sideways. You've probably heard before. So the factory edge will be here and the factory edge will be here. Then I want the rear roll ups left and right. Gives me a preview. These are a little bit more narrow, but it'll be fine for my, my 40 inch roll. They're 28 inches wide. So I'm going to add those to the cut list. So from here, you can click this play button and it'll send it to the machine. It'll start on the top one. It'll cut this one, cut this one, cut this one, then cut this one. So you could load this list up. Now, keep in mind that it's going to be a long run. So based on how your plotter set up and your if you have a catch basket or you've got a catch table with a cut top on it is going to probably dictate how long of a run you can use. But that's what I was talking about, the high volume. You just uh, dealerships, for example, they have a lot of the same vehicles, so they need to do a lot of the same cuts. So they'll just load up a cut list, push play, and it'll it'll rip out the whole vehicle, cut it off the machine, push play again, it'll rip off another one. In my case, in my shop, I like to have a little bit more control. It's one vehicle at a time, and I want to capitalize on my film as much as possible. So here's the exciting part for me, the nest feature. So I'm going to click this nest feature. Our screen's going to change puts my list of everything here with previews, length and widths. Now my machine is this way. So this would be the factory edge of the film, factory edge of the film, this is the cutoff side. So let's look back at those doors. If I wanna cut those doors sideways, they've already got them placed in here. 
I double click on them and it throws them in here. Now here's the cool part. I can move these around. And that's what's cool about the nesting feature for you to capitalize more on your film. Now I have a catch basket, so I wouldn't cut these two at the same time. It's almost a 50 inch run, and then I have to babysit it. So I'm gonna delete those out. I'm gonna come over here, and they don't have them sideways, they only have them right side up. So here's the cool thing. You can use your Alt key. You gotta move it back a little bit. It can't be against this wall or it won't spin. You use your Alt key and your arrows. Whoops, see it got locked up right here. And your arrows, or you can use your mouse, left click on your mouse and your, your uh, spin wheel. Bam. Set up as a default of 60. I can put, even put 40 inches in there. So that's how it's gonna look cutting out on my 40 inch roll. I click cut and it rips that out. Let's say I have a cutting table. I'm gonna move this down, add me another one, and I'm gonna do the same. I'm gonna spin this one as well. Gotta move it. How cool is that? So now I can set these two up, put them here, put this one here. Now I've got both. Let's say I wanna cut out the back window, but I wanna capitalize on the space. So I'm going to take, let's see if I can do it this way. Yes, right? No, it doesn't let me break. Okay, so I put the whole thing in there, right? So I can't turn it sideways because it's too long. It's 101 inches long. So instead of doing that, I'm going to add all three pieces one at a time. So I'm gonna add the center, move it here. I'm gonna add the left side. Whoops, grab the wrong piece. I'm still learning. You're literally watching me uh, play with this uh, as it was just released. And then here's the right side. So now I'm gonna grab that one. So now, instead of cutting it like it was, I've been able to position it on my 40 inch roll and capitalize on the roll with less waste. So that's just the start of it. Um, there's so much more, but you can see that that's as easy as it is. So the next thing I'm gonna do, uh, I'm gonna come back, I'm gonna cut these templates out and uh, I'm gonna do a size check on this F-150 and see how they look. Are they too long? Are they not long? Is the top line nice and crispy? So I'll give you a view of that. So we'll get there. Okay, so this isn't the end all be all and there's gonna be more videos and tutorials and such, but I wanted to give you guys an idea. These are the two windows that I needed for that 19 F-150. This is what it looks like. I've already weeded out the excess and I'm pretty impressed. The corners are really nice, clean rounds, peeled off really good. Obviously that has a lot to do with the way your plotter is set up, but I'm happy. The, pr the patterns look really, really good. So I'm gonna get these snap shrunk. So again, we did a long run. So my factory edge is here and factory edge is here. So I have to shrink now sideways. So I'm gonna do a quick curl on the front or the top and bottom of these or the front and back technically. I'm gonna get them installed and I'm gonna show you what the final results look like. Hang in there. It's a tight top edge, guys. That's less than less than an eighth all the way across. I like it. I'm impressed. So there you go. Uh, that's how easy the software is to use. Um, this is a fast, well, a, a, an easy to learn software. This is something I feel like if I took on a new person in my shop, I could probably spend 10, 15 minutes with them showing them the ins and outs of how to use it. And in that amount of time, I'm sure they'd be, I could walk away and they'd be cutting cars out. So that's fantastic. I hope it helped that you were able to see the uh, cut pattern and then it installed and that top edge, I've been using another software for a while and it's um, a big name software, been out a long time. And I can tell you from experience, F-150 top edges are, let's just say good enough. These looked almost as precise as a hand cut. And when I say that, I've seen hand cut top edges worse than that. And these were really clean, these were really nice. You can see it in the video. Check it out, Film Cuts the Software. It's, you can check it out, tintdepot.com and plotterdepot.com. So more videos on this coming. Um, I'm gonna do more cars using the software. We'll take short clips and we'll probably do some tutorials and stuff like that. So definitely watch out for those. Check it out over the videos tintdepot.com, our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.